Hey guys, Jen here. I don't know if you can tell behind me, but I am at the Vineland Outlet because there is a lot of construction going on. So I wanted to show you what it currently looks like. Follow along. So right away it's super weird because it is noon and there is like nobody here. This is so weird. As I'm walking down, they cut down all of the palm trees. So all the trees that were in the covered area are now completely gone. Wow. It's also really nice because a lot of the little booths are closed. So um, it's a lot more peaceful to walk through here. Oh, it is so sad to see the character warehouse closed. I miss it so much. Although, when Lee was here a week ago, he said it was trashed. Like there was just stuff everywhere and there is no longer just boxes everywhere. So I'm hoping that means this might be opening soon um, because like everything's neat and tidy and it's like ready to open. I gotta say the Vineland out yet outlets have been using the downtime very productively because there is major construction going on. Almost every section of stores is getting all tore up and completely redone. And the construction is extensive enough that it does, can make navigation around the stores a little more challenging. Um, so some of the stores have a narrow, very narrow walkway because of all this construction. So it's a good thing it's still really slow here. Um, so you're not like crammed in with a bunch of people in these super narrow walkways. It's interesting. I noticed the same thing when I was stopped, when I was at the Tanger Outlets in Daytona a few weeks ago. Um, not all the restrooms are open. So the outlets seem to only have specific restrooms open. So you want to take note of that when um, you're here shopping because some of the stores are not close to a bathroom. Like here, looks like the only bathrooms open are inside the food court here at Vineland. So it looks like this spot is pretty close to finish and it looks like they're just pulling out all the vegetation. So that's really sad. It looks like they're taking all the greenery away and just concreting everything. Oh, I wish Lee was here. Maybe I could have found him a new hat since the entire store is on sale right now. Ooh. So I don't know if this is like the normal summer sales that they do or if they're just trying to bring people in because of how slow it's been but it seems like almost all the stores are doing pretty major sales right now. So if you have any shopping to do and you're down here, now's probably a good time to head over here. It's not busy and almost all the stores are on sale. So here's a good example where I don't know if you can see the yellow lines to get into the guest store. So if people were waiting in that line, it would be extremely difficult to even navigate these sidewalks. So it's a good thing they're doing this when it's still slow. And still a lot of like the booths seems like so far all the stores are open but a lot of the kiosks are closed so over here at one of the entrances this is the entrance um, Ford's garage is right there there's a McDonald's like right over here that way is International Drive I like to head towards SeaWorld and stuff like that and this entrance is really tore up oh my goodness like you can barely even get around to get over to the parking lot. It's a mess here right now. Now it's interesting because this section is open for walking, but I think this is where trees were before because they just have like wood taped to the ground um, so that you don't like aren't walking through dirt. It also looks like they're kind of playing around with a new paint scheme possibly for the place because there's like a couple different colors that they're testing. And it also looks like I'm incorrect. Um, so it's just that one bathroom was closed because this is the bathroom over by All Saints, Prada, and Bottega Veneta, and uh, this one's open. So I just got out of the bathrooms over here. There is no air conditioning in them. It is unbearably hot in those bathrooms. 
because it is currently 91, but the feels like is 102. So um, to be in a bathroom with no air when it's that hot out was not pleasant. Over here by Tommy Hilfiger, um, there's still a section with, there's still two little sections with vegetation, although you can see the palm is dead. Um, so I'm assuming all of this will be next to be ripped out and they haven't just gotten to this section yet. So enjoy this little bit of green that's left while you can. Oh, okay, so it looks like this whole back section hasn't been touched yet. So now I'm over by um, Vineyard Vines, Polo Ralph Lauren, heading back towards uh, the gap. So this whole back row still has the palm trees and vegetation for now. It seems almost random how they're doing it. Because like here and the one right behind me, they cut all the trees down. But the one past that behind me and the one in front of it still have the trees. It's really strange. So whew, another hot one today. It's a little overcast, so it's not as bad as it has been. So it was much more bearable in the mask. However, I was only here for about 45 minutes and I did stop in one store um, just to get a break from the heat. But Vineland is completely torn up. I cannot believe it. Uh, and also the character warehouse looked promising. Um, it looked like they were starting to clean and kind of reset up shelves. Now, that doesn't mean anything. There has been no date announced for the reopening, but I am hopeful that because the parks are opening up in about a week and a half, that hopefully that will open up soon too. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I like desperately need some new Disney shirts and Kay desperately needs clothes. So I really need that to open because I can't afford to be buying us all clothes at full Disney prices, even with my annual pass holder discount. If you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys!